way tapping into the limitless plenum of energy surrounding the planet and weaponizing this scalar energy. This is a way to make planet Earth the ultimate weapon of war. Slide number 11. The HARP chemtrail system has three major weapon systems component, a space-based, an atmosphere-based, and a ground-based. Number one, the space-based component is as follows. HARP weaponizes the Earth's ionosphere, the uppermost part of the atmosphere. HARP is a super powerful radio wave beaming technology that lifts areas of the ionosphere by focusing a beam and heating those areas. Electromagnetic waves then bounce back into Earth and penetrate everything, living and dead. Slide number 12. HARP will zap the upper atmosphere with a focused and steerable electromagnetic beam. It is an advanced model of an ionospheric heater. The ionosphere is the electrically charged sphere surrounding Earth's upper atmosphere. It ranges between 40 to 60 miles above the surface of the Earth. Slide 13. Secondly, the air or atmosphere based component of the HARP chemtrails weapon system. HARP uses the atmospheric plasma created by aerosol spraying chemtrails as a, a plasma weapon carrier medium and force multiplier for its space based component, i.e., HARP uh, carries the, the plasma created from the weaponized ionosphere and is a force multiplier uh, for the space-based weapon component of HARP, i.e. that of the weaponized ionosphere. Secondly, the atmosphere-based component, which is the chemtrails, are a bioweapons and mind control weapon system against the human population. Slide 14. The ground-based component of HARP. So we have space-based component of HARP is a weaponized ionosphere. The air-based component of HARP are the chemtrails in the atmosphere. And three, the ground-based component. HARP ground stations are camouflaged as research stations, and they energize the HARP weapon system. HARP publicly gives the impression that the high-frequency active oral research program is mainly an academic project with the goal of changing the ionosphere to improve communications for our own good. Now, as to the ground-based component, there are also there are sea-based and air-based ground stations camouflaged as research stations that energize the HARP weapon system. Quote, the military vessel includes power plant, a bridge, control rooms, living quarters. This is the sea, the seafaring HARP system. There are about 17 uh, HARP stations, land-based HARP stations around the planet. The military vessel includes a power plant. This is the seafaring uh, HARP, a bridge, control rooms, living quarters, storage areas, and the infrastructure necessary to support the massive X-band radar. 
The SBX radar is the most sophisticated phased array electromechanically steered X-band radar in the world, according to Boeing. The phased array antenna consists of thousands of antennas driven by transmit-receive modules. The radar is designed and built by Raython, Integrated Defense Systems for Boeing, the prime contractor on the project for the United States Missile Defense Agency. Number 16. Now we'll go into some of the aerosol biowarfare, the chemtrails biowarfare. In other words, chemtrails is biowarfare as the mechan as uh, that 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 function. We're on slide 16. In this chart, we see that Barry quote. In this chart, we see this is from the Ted Twitmeyer study. We see that barium is 278 times the toxic limit. This is in uh, from Phoenix particulates in 2008. Copper is 98 times the toxic limit. Manganese is a st staggering 5,820 times the toxic limit, and zinc is 593 times the toxic limit. I.e., these these toxic metals. Uh, are a form of biowarfare against the population in the footprint of these chemtrails. Slide 17. This again is from the Ted Twitmeyer study in Phoenix 2008. Quote, in this chart we see that uh, the barium again is 278 times the toxic limit. Copper is 98 times the toxic limit. It has also been proposed to release large clouds of barium in the magnetosphere so that photoionization will include, increase the cold plasma density, thereby producing electron precipitation through enhanced Whistler mode interaction. This is part of the Harp Chemtrails Weapon of Mass Destruction System. Slide 18. Again from the Ted Twitmeyer study of Phoenix 2008. Here we see uh, that cadmium is 126 times the toxic limit, chromium is 282 times the toxic limit, and nickel is 169 times the toxic limit. The permissible amount of cadmium in the environment is equivalent to 10 parts per billion. So that is, uh, we're, we're dealing with uh, 126 times that in this one study. Slide number 19. Again, from the Ted uh, Twitmeyer study in Phoenix, uh, 2008, uh, aluminum in chemtrails is 6,400 times the toxic limit. Iron is 28,000 times the toxic limit. Manganese is uh, 5.3 times the toxic limit. Potassium is 793 times the toxic limit, and sodium is 15.9 times the toxic limit. Again, this is totally done without any environmental impact statements, uh, any health reviews, and constitutes uh, war crimes, genocide, and crimes against humanity under the Geneva Conventions. Okay, now we get to UFO and chemtrails. This is a subject uh, which is of interest and for which there is lateral research uh, that I can share 
uh, coming from my role as a judge in the 9-11 Vancouver Tribunal uh, at the 9-11 Vancouver hearings that were held several months ago, over 20 expert witnesses on the false flag operation of September 11th, 2001, gave testimony. Uh, in the top photo, uh, that, that, that relates to a video. Uh, you can Google it by Googling UFOs and fake tanker airplane. Uh, we have UFOs masked uh, as tanker planes spraying chemtrails. And there is research evidence of the use of holographic making technologies to mask or cloak UFOs spraying chemicals as tanker planes. They're cloaked as tanker, tanker airplanes. The technology was also used through the 9-11 false flag operation when a UFO was remotely guided into the World Trade Center tower. Holographic masking or cloaking technology was used to make the UFO appear as an airplane when filmed from the ground. When filmed from above, uh, by a helicopter, the UFO appeared on film as a UFO. These chemtrail spraying UFOs may be either remote guided UFOs of the U.S. Black Budget Fleet charged with chemtrail, the chemtrail depopulation program, or an intelligently piloted Black Budget uh, of a uh, negative Black Budget or negative extraterrestrial. UFO. So we don't know if they're piloted or if they're remote controlled, but they appear to be UFOs. And when you see them from the ground, they're cloaked with cloaking technology, holographic cloaking technology, to look like tanker airplanes. And uh, in the bottom, uh, uh, you can Google this on video to see UFOs attack chemtrails tanker. There is research evidence of a UFO attacking a chemtrail spray, spraying airplane tanker or holographically max, masked or cloaked UFO spraying chemtrails while in flight. The attacking UFOs may have an exopolitical dimension and be part of a strategic attack on the chemtrails program by anti-chemtrails forces within the black budget, so-called white hats or by friendly ex, uh, ethical extraterrestrial civilizations that do exist. Uh, people can go to my website, exopolitics.com, if you want further documentation and information on exopolitics, the science of relations among intelligent civilizations in the multiverse. Slide uh, 21. HARP and Mind Control HARP, a HARP chemtrails combination, primary use is for mood and mind control of the human population, either on a regional, national, or global basis. The goal of this HARP engendered mood and mind control is the entrainment of the human brain and mind into acceptance of reduced civil liberties, reduced economic prosperity, democratic prerogatives in the service of an anti-democratic banking and political elite that I call the Global War Crimes Racketeering Organization, because that's what they are functionally. Number 22, HARP and Mind Control. The HARP atmospheric plasma weapon system and aerosol spraying chemtrails are carrying out mind control against the human population on a global as 